What is poppin' everybody, it is your boy V2BC, back in my video, and today, as I promised, we are trying the Dragon Fruit Spyro G Fuel Can today, I'm very excited. This is actually a 140 milligram caffeine can, okay? The Summit 1 G1 was a 300, I do prefer the 140s just a little bit, just because I feel like their flavor is a little bit more enhanced, I don't know why that is, but I realized that with a lot of the 140s, like Miami Nights and stuff like that, the flavor is a lot more, I guess, flavorful than the 300. So I'm very excited for this can today. Right off the bat, we got the dragon fruit can. I mean, we got Spyro right here, the guy. Then we got, obviously, the G Fuel logo with the purple and orange outline. And then we got that G Fuel turbine around it, kind of as Spyro's tail. I actually really do like the can. I like the rocks on the side of it. I like this little guy over here and obviously Spyro is uh standing out like always what a guy i'm very excited this is a dragon fruit flavor if you guys haven't seen i did try the powder and it wasn't my favorite flavor but it also wasn't my least favorite flavor so i'm very excited to try this today and hopefully it's a little bit better in the can so uh let's crack this bad boy open and see what we saying let's get the smell of it it kind of smells more of a grape kind of flavor. It smells very similar to the powder. It kind of smells like the Kid Champagne, the grape Kid Champagne. Without further ado, we're going to try this bad boy. Hopefully, and I mean hopefully, this is a very good flavor. Let's try it. Like I said, more flavorful. Very kind of a grape slash... I guess dragon fruit kind of flavor but i'm getting more of like a sour grape kind of taste but i don't know if a sour grape and dragon fruit taste kind of similar so i could be just dumb but the fizziness is at an all-time high and i kind of like that about this flavor but more of an enhanced flavor on the powder so the powder was like a five on the flavor this is like an eight on the flavor like it's ramped up a ton in terms of sourness it's a sour flavor it is very good and i do enjoy the sourness of the flavor so in terms of sourness i'd say it's more of like a 6.5 on the sour scale but you kind of get a sweet aftertaste which is actually very nice i actually really do like this flavor i'm gonna rate it a little bit higher than the summit 1g flavor before this i was thinking that this was gonna be a little bit lower and that first sip, I was kind of like, oh, this might be lower. Now that I'm actually tasting it, I actually do prefer this over the Summit 1G flavor. Maybe it's just because it's sour and I love sour flavors. It's just overall a better flavor. Not by much though, but it is a better flavor. Out of 10, I mean, the sourness is there. I did say that I would rank it a little bit higher than the Summit 1G flavor. The Summit 1G flavor we rated a 7.6, so that means that I'm going to rate this a... I'm going to rate this a 7.9 out of 10. I really do actually enjoy this can a lot. Like I said, it is a 140, and my prediction was correct. The flavor is enhanced in the 140 cans rather than the 300 cans. There's definitely more flavor in this than there is in the Summit 1G. Amazing flavor, amazing can. So this is still on the app. I don't know if there's as many cans left as there was when I ordered it, but if there are, get your hands on it. Give it a try yourself. I really do enjoy it. 7.9 out of 10, rated a little bit higher than the Summit 1G flavor. If you guys want to see me review, the Summit 1G flavor, that video will be right here. Go check that out. As well as go check out some of my other videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.